My name is Lamar Lemons, and I'm the president of the Detroit Board of Education. Board member Elena Harada. I'm going to introduce the other board members who are here. We have Javetta Hawkins. I'm sorry, Jim. Javetta? Can you please spell your name for the interpreter? Spell your name for the interpreter, please. J. V. as in We have Herman Davis. Vice President. Vice President Herman Davis. Reverend Murray. And I'm Reverend David Murray. <coughs> and Lamar is around here somewhere. Lamar Lemons is around here somewhere, apparently. The board members who are here, and I'm sure the ones who are not here tonight, are committed to fight to keep the school open. Amen. We will fight to keep the school open. Helen, of course, without whom any of us would be here, and without we, we wouldn't be able to do very much without Helen, much less have the information. So Helen, please come up here. We, we wouldn't be able to do most of what we do without Helen. We have Tom Padroni over here, who's been researching and working with us, Tom Padroni from Wayne State University. We have several supporters. We have Annabelle Duncan over here, who's part of our program at Marygrove. How many parents and students are here from the day school of the deaf? Some alumni? <laughs> and teachers? <coughs> okay. All right. I represent District 2 in Southwest Detroit. But all of the board members represent everyone, all the parents and students in Detroit. Every year, you know what to do on the first day of school, right? Right. This year, we are asking you to do the same thing. Go to school. Go to your school on the first day of school. We're asking your teachers to do the same thing. We're asking all the community to support you to go to the school that you need. You can see that no one in charge in Detroit schools knows what they're doing. The emergency manager has no idea what to do. They don't know what to do. You know what to do. Parents, students, community, you know what you need to do. We must go to school on the first day of school and be prepared like any other day. We're asking you to show up and be ready for school. They are not. We must. What you're asking for is what? What are we asking for? Somebody answer. An education. You're not asking for anything that you don't have a right to get. But the only way you're going to get it is to take it. Because they're taking it away from all of us right now. They are telling people, you don't have a school. You can't hear, go to any school. That's what they're telling you. You won't know what's going on. What's going to happen to that little girl that's looking the other way while I'm talking? What's going to happen to her? Is she not entitled to a full education like everyone else? What's going to happen? We have to go to school on the first day of school. You can't let anybody tell you you can't get in. Where's Helen Moore? Helen told us. Go open that door and go in. They told us we didn't have a right to have a meeting today. We went over and opened the door and came in, and here we are. We're having our meeting. We cannot listen to people who don't know what they're doing, and we would be wrong and immoral to listen to people when we know they don't know what they're doing. Do you think they care about your kids? No. Do you think they care about Detroit voters? No. No. We must take up this struggle and go 
and get our education. You're not asking for anything except what you're entitled to. But the only way we're going to get it is if we do it. Who's going to school at the Detroit School for the Deaf on the first day of school? Please go to school with or without the news, with or without emergency managers. We need teachers and students. You need to show up and be there. If that's your building, go take your building. Amen. Don't let anybody take your building away from you. Oh, yes. We will be with you. Let them arrest us for taking what's right. Yes. I hope that all the parents are listening. We will be with you. We are willing to do whatever is necessary. You have a right and a responsibility to fight for this, and we will be with you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For Lamar, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying that should I put out an announcement? Don't go to Schultz. Don't go to Davidson. Don't go to the schools that they're telling you to go to. No. Go to your school. Your school. Yes. Well, my child has a yes. That yes. 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 Wow. We need to get that information out. We need to communicate. All right. Yes, do not follow those directions. They are wrong directions. You're talking about the children from day school for the deaf. Day school for the deaf. Right, because yeah. there are children that are not available as a parent. Okay. All right. Well, that's the only thing we should right. talk about. Okay. okay, danger. If you don't listen to what she says and you allow them to divide you up, you will never get your school back. Yep. That's what they're planning on doing. You must keep unified and you must demand your school and I said demand education for your children so when the day comes you all show up bring relatives bring everybody there and make sure that you tell them this is our school open it up and if there's any doors open go in and occupy that's what you need to do okay don't let them divide you up at the end when you do so September the 4th is yes. what you're saying. Go yes. to the right. uh, At 9 a.m.? I'm does sorry, I have start? a question. Mm. Nine. 845? Nope. 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock? Nine o'clock? Maybe we should get there a little yeah, early. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to be in school on the first day of school? Everybody? So, even the parents or formal um, alumni should show up? September Everybody, please show up. We need solidarity. Question <laughs> here and a question there. First this man and then that lady. Um, Any more questions? Uh, 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 I, I, so parents, former everybody, alumni, supporters. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. This lady. Uh, Go. Okay. Uh, All right. Question. Say something. Uh, that lady. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Sonia Labby, and I'm a. I'm a teacher over at the UNC. I've been there for about seven years. I've ter I have taught at mainstream programs before um, I was transferred there, and I just want to compare and give you a comparison of my experience. Please do. You know, when the deaf children goes into a hearing, they're expected to have complete access of communication, and they don't. And many deaf kids that goes into a mainstream, they don't have that complete access. And then they don't have interpreters all the time, so they miss information. And so that's what I've noticed that. And it's like, this is where we have noticed already that the deaf doesn't have enough interpreters. But yet and still, they want to move them. The interpreters are not volunteers. They have to be paid. So what do we do? They need that. We need to make sure that they have access to communication. We don't want to put them in a least restricted restrict environment. We don't want to restrict their education. We don't want to just shove them into a hearing school where they have influence of picking on them and bullying and different things um, that can harm them and hinder their education. You know, the state has already passed a law to protect our kids from bullying. All right. And that can be that can happen if they're in a mainstream school. Okay. Did she sign in? Can you sign in? 